Hey, what's up, everyone? It's your boy Willie V, aka Boo Boy Kennels. Just have a uh, quick tip here. This is for the uh, window users, and this is for those that want to back up files. Now, I'm going to show you. Uh, well, I'm going to show you one way of doing this with one or two um, commands to go along with it on how to back up your files, say to an external hard drive different folder location or whatever uh, have you. Now, have you ever uh, backed up a file? You know, you just drag and drop it into another, you know, from your heart, from your main hard drive into uh, an external drive. You ever done that? I'm sure you have, right? You do it all the time. But you ever transfer files and, and for some strange reason, you know, you get some kind of error and now all that time that you spent transferring those files, you either need to figure out what didn't transfer, or if it stopped altogether, you may have to restart that whole process all over again. And that kind of sucks, especially if you have large amounts of files that you need to transfer over. So what I'm going to show you here is I have a folder called X copy, that's the name that we'll be using in the command line. And as you can see, this folder is empty. See, nothing in it. This is the folder where I'm going to be backing up this video file into this folder. Now, first thing we need to do, we need to open the uh, command line. So, you know, if you're on Windows, it's the uh, window key and R. If you're on the, on the Mac, depending on how you have your system set up, which in my case is Command R, and now I get the uh, run prompt here. Type in CMD. So we want to go to the command line, of course. Hit Enter, and now we have our command line right here. Let me I just I put it right there. Okay, so first thing we need to do is we need to put in our command. The command that we're going to be using is, of course, x copy. So we do x copy space, and then we have to put the name of the folder. Now, if you've um, watched any of my other tutorials on either Linux or Mac, you will notice that I do use drag and drop a whole lot. Reason being is it saves you a lot of time on figuring out. The, the, the path name and all that. So again, I'm going to click on my uh, video file. I'm going to click on it, drag it in, drop it right in place. Now as you can see, it's already put the path name. C semicolon backslash documents blah 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 blah. Puts the whole name of the file. Okay, now uh, we need to uh, press our space bar because we of course want a space in here. And what I want to do is I want to take this file, and I'm going to do the same thing, drag and drop. As you can see, this is on an external drive by the address that you see on here. Now, it's on a uh, virtual system, but it's the same thing as an external drive connected, so it really doesn't matter. Or it can be on your internal drive, and it's just in a different location. Totally up to you. So again, I'm, I'm going to click on the folder, and I'm going to drag it in to my command window. And now you see that that location is now put. So what we do is, just to recap, when you open up the command prompt, you're going to type in x copy space. And then the next set of information is going to be the name of the file that we want to transfer along with its location. Then we'll put a space. And then we put the location of where we want to back up this information to. So we'll go ahead and hit space again at the end of our information here. Now there's two things you can do. Um, you can either do forward slash S or forward slash E. Now the S is going to, what it'll do is it'll copy all the files including subdirectories. But it won't copy any of your um, empty folders. So if you ever have folders that are empty, it won't copy those. You may need it, you may not need it, so it's up to you. So that is a decision that you yourself need to make. Now forward slash E does exactly what 
forward slash s does with the exception that it will copy any empty folders and subdirectories as well. So that's the difference between S and E. S does not copy empty folders, E does. Okay, so we'll go ahead and put forward slash E, space, forward slash I. Now the forward slash I is um, basically saying, you know, when you're copying these files over, if the directory doesn't exist, you know, that the way it's being copied over, that the directory does exist. Basically, it'll end up making the directory set up for you. So again, we're going to do space forward slash C. Now, forward slash C, this is the part where I say, have you ever transferred over a large amount of files and they just, you know, maybe they got interrupted or it was corrupted or whatever have you, it stopped your transfer process. Well, forward slash C, what it'll do is it'll continue to keep on copying without prompting you, even if there was an error of a file not transferring over. So this is something that is very good to um, to use. Now, before I hit uh, return, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, open up this folder so you can see that it is empty. And then once I hit return, it'll start the process of transferring the fu the uh, file from my um, main hard drive over into a uh, backup shared drive. So let's go ahead and uh, do that. So right now it's uh, running through the process of getting that information transferred over. Now it says one file copied and it brought me back to the uh, prompt. So I'll go ahead and back up and I'll reopen the uh, folder and now you can see that my video file is now here. And that is how you would use the uh, Windows command line to uh, back up any of your files. Now, depending on which commands you use, you can also back up hidden files, system files. I mean, there is a slew of commands that you can use within this one process on how to back up your files. You can also have it where it only back up new files or existing files. So what I suggest is if you have time, you like this feature, you want to back up your files, you know, do some Googling or or whoever you use to do your, your web searching with, and uh, definitely uh, learn some, some different commands that you can use. Anyways, this was uh, Willie V, a.k.a. Boo Boy Kennels of iTexture.com, and as always, thank you for taking the time to watch.